we go. Yes, I understand there. Get over here, I think. Well, you just took them away. Somebody else is here. Anne's here. Judy P. Oh. Oops. Okay, good. Got that going. Very good. <clears throat> okay, now let's do our little intro thing. Oh, I need to have my thing open. Oh, jeez. One of these little clicks is going to make it happen. All right, there we go. I'm turning on the sound. Oh, actually, I think I already have it on. <laughs> oh, dear. Good morning, everyone. Are you listening to us, <laughs> you know, figuring out things and whatnot? Jeez. All right. So, good morning, Patricia. Good morning. Patricia. Oh, Mariah. P. M. PM Artist Studio. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, we already have one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> I six. I, didn't, I was testing out the mic, and I forgot the, to turn it off. But all um, right. Did you hear all that ranting and raving? Yeah. Hopefully, I didn't say any bad words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spilled my coffee this morning. I yeah. mean, it's just. But the, but the keyboard <clears throat> survived. She looks cute. She's got a haircut. Oh, and did you? This is for. Is Lisa there? Is Lisa there? <laughs> Good morning, Lisa. I. She hasn't been feeling. Like yeah. half of us are down that we're in the in the. Uh, I, I've club. kind of come out of the <laughs> fog of the allergy <laughs> business. I've been. I don't. I've dosing been just, up on my nettles this is more than. Allergy business, some little sickness my baby brought home. They do that, they're little germ bags. Okay. Um, good morning, Mary Ann. We have both Mary Ann, Sharon, and Mary Ann, Sh Leslie, Sandy. Oh, Kylie. Hi, good morning, Kylie. She made it today. She's always so sweet. Dawn. Apologizing for not coming. <laughs> oh, good morning, Dawn. I think you were new. Let us know who you are. Should we know? I don't know. I don't recognize. Is this the Dawn that we know? This no. is not the Dawn we know. Maybe it is. We have a Dawn we know. That's um, Paper Vandal. Maybe this is her. I don't know her last name. Hmm. Well, there you go. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Okay, so what are we doing today? Um, we are mark making. Developing any new skill requires. Here, and I'm trying to read my thing. <laughs> And, and the other thing is in the way. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is in the way. Okay. Fundamentals and practice. This is where, this is a really great beginning point to many things. Many and things. one of the things being um, what Judy P. and Lisa requested in the Facebook group, which was calligraphy. So in order to do calligraphy, one must have the ability to kind of have a muscle memory of mark making, strokes, and also understand your tool. What tool are you going to be using to do that? Because you can do calligraphy with brushes, you can do calligraphy with pens, there are different types of markers, there's all types of calligraphy. So um, this is a good way to kind of explore those tools and get a handle <laughs> <laughs> I always say the jokes are free, y'all. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to have to list our, our category as, uh, I don't believe we made comedy yet, but entertainment, maybe. So we were laughing because like when you turn the thing on and it wants you to tell Every you, time. Every time. I don't know why it doesn't hold the settings. But it asks you, like, is this entertainment, educational? And we always waffle. We're like, we're not really sure. It depends on the day. <laughs> we, we said we wanted to put to have a category of fun, educational. educational. Maybe how to. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't feel like we've reached the level of comedy yet. But, you know, we're working on our material. Yeah. That being said, I, I think I'm finished here. I'm going to go okay. over and futz around and get Do you, do you get know ready. what you're doing? I'm going to Do play. I know what I'm doing? Mariah's asked me that about 40 <coughs> times this morning. Because I haven't been really, like, on top of that. But here, let's, I'm going to close that. And head on over to P, P side. There we go. I'll be in the little box down below. There we go. I'm going to turn that a little bit. Okay, well, 
we're going to, if this wasn't what I started out doing. What I started out doing was this. <laughs> and then I decided, I, because I watched a video. And I think, do we have it listed? Oh, dog came over from Louisa Heinzel. That's awesome. Oh, all right. There you go. Oh, oh Louisa. Louisa. We right. know her. We know but her. She sent me a Barbie, and I am still going to do oh, something with it she, if you're watching, Louisa. Yeah. Don, tell her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Messenger. Someday. Messenger Someday. hurt her. But I thought, oh. the other thing is, is, you know, if you've got a big old thing like this, <laughs> you're, you're not going to be toting this around in your purse or anything. Backpack. Your mark-making library. Whatever, yeah. This is just not... This doesn't travel Mark well. Mark-making should be travel size. I think it should be. Yes. Because when you're sitting around waiting, you know, in traffic at the doctor's office, I, you know, whatever. You can... She's get really out. talking to a certain crowd. I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, waiting to pick your kid up from there school. We go. There we go. Let's on the drive through our, our, our demographic. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, taking the bus to work, there the train, go. whatever. This little thing is really handy. And they do have... Uh, felt tipped. I, I don't approve of them, and she's never really liked them. I don't like them. Number one, they never ever maintain that nice sharp right edge. You, I don't know for whatever reason, and they run out of ink rapidly. Quick. Maybe that's why. I bet you they've planned that because they know that the the edge of the thing is not isn't going to hold up. Isn't going to hold up. So they've given you hardly any ink, and they've charged you a crazy amount of money because it's from some name brandy uh, thing. Absolutely. <laughs> An exorbitant amount of money, I, I'm I assure so sorry, you. sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, All right, well, there's so many things that I want to talk about today, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be kind of organic here and just go with, go with the flow. <laughs> How about that squaring up, though? I'm just really impressed with that. Oh, the, the map moment, thing here? Let us know in the chat how impressed well, you are that I squared <laughs> that camera up. That we rearranged the studio for this whole situation. Because I didn't, I, I felt, felt stretched. I felt like I had to be always be leaning over here. Because I couldn't get the camera to come right here where, you know, my natural work yeah, area is. we need is. a longer boom arm. Okay, so. <laughs> back to our, I did a really fumbly version of, um folding this little jobber and um for those of you and dawn I, we invite you anybody watching on the replay or anything like that please um do join us over on the makers of mixed media art and artists facebook group that's where we hang out during the week and then we posted carrie from carrie gibson art she did a wonderful she's a zine maker she even sells them over on etsy um, but this is that same style of folding and everything. Her video is wonderful. So we were like, you know, the P did one. We might put it up. <laughs> I love like her. I, it's, like it's good. It's, <laughs> we have to voice over something. I don't know. There'll be things. Hey, the, the other one that I watched on, on YouTube didn't have any noise or anything. Yeah, I could just do a process yeah. fast for a you, real quickie one. You could one. play, you know. A quickie. Quickie fold. Yeah. There you go. Okay, anyway, sorry. I interrupted. Okay. Yeah. But yes, that's where you can find out and watch the video. I might link that below later on. Um, but if anybody kind of prepped for it, that's the that's the little zine. Sorry, Mom. No, that's fine. No <laughs> no worries. Mom. No worries. I was trying to find my... Uh, the, the Sumie ink is <gasps> <M> -I. <laughs> M.I. Sumie. We know it's here somewhere. Because, <laughs> um, it. yeah, I, I used it not too terribly long ago. But... Anyway, anyway, it'll show up, and it's no big deal. It's just that, you know, I wanted to have that as a, I'm not in love with it. It's kind of browned out ink. I don't really like it, but I, it is a, an option, and it certainly is an option to use with your uh, nibs, which we'll get into that. Just nibs. Your nibs. You will need one of these. Um, hopefully I yours did, is going to be in better shape than mine. I did create a list. And I think I put, it's been a week, people, and it's been a rough week. <laughs> so. It has. We've had I believe that I have included the list in this description box. If not, I will drop it in. I did create a list. We spent a whole evening. Creating. <laughs> and making the sure. List. The thing is that's funny is that P has 
so much of this stuff from a very long time ago. Oh, well, you can, <coughs> look at this, baby. You, this has had some use. <laughs> so try to find I, I really, products. I want, it's, it's, this is wiggly, and sometimes it really irritates the dog dew out of me, but I, <laughs> I just, just haven't. Struggling through. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know. I just haven't decided that I wanted to replace it because it's in my comfortable. Hey, you should use our affiliate link. <laughs> Oh, she's so, just so funny. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, all right. So you've got a whole bunch of different sizes. And I noticed um, Lisa has a beautiful uh, example of a pen. And I think Judy purchased one that was similar. Um, I would recommend that you at least start off with C. I don't know what this is. I oh, Kylie, C. yes, please. Four. If any of you of our channel people um, have zine videos... Please post them. Seriously, Please, yes. I mean that—that's what Makers is about. Share it. Um, I just well, and also Carrie used our stencil in that video, so that it was a—it was a nice little, you know, nod to Double. PM as well. <laughs> Plus, it was a lot better video on the fold, job of folding than mine. I was kind of fumbly. I'm having trouble with my fingers. I have an eczema breakout mm -hmm. here, and Tis it's the season. Yeah, it is the season. Okay, I you know, this is not anything special. It was a held desk pens. Because when I used to do <laughs> batik, you'd go through a lot of these because you were you would be pinning things and you know, they get lost and whatnot. Anyway, I, I had them and I just noticed that they were very nice because they're kind of like a walk for a, <laughs> a little mini walk. You know, yeah. For your ink. But anyway. Oh, you just funny. need something. You can put it in a lid. It doesn't matter. And this is Higgins. And I think Waterproof I, Drawing Ink. That we did find a link to. So that, that stuff's still around. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to buy a quart <laughs> or a pint or whatever this is. You can get it in a much smaller. how invested you think you are on and this And you can dilute maybe. this with water. <laughs> says, do not mix with acids or other brands of ink. <laughs> it's not launder proof. So, don't you know, it's not one of those. Yeah. Don't be washing your paper after you. Or money laundering. Either yeah. One. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm starting off with a C4. And I really should start off with a C2. That's what you keep two. telling me. Two, yeah, because it's nice and wide. When you're beginning, you want to have it very obvious where you're skinny and and, and I will use the other tips here. A tip on tips. Yeah. Just start with the fat ones. It's a lot easier to see what you're doing. Okay? All right, here's There's my, a joke here's in there, my but little. I'm not going <laughs> to. I mean, boy, I'm really setting myself up. Slobbing but I, I'm so proud of this because, you know, I don't always get to come up with the neat ideas. Mariah mostly comes up with the Aww. neat ideas. So this is my little neat idea. When you do these zines, I didn't even know that's what they were called. Oh, well, I don't think tag, uh, there is a different name for that particular fold. But it's going to become a signature, and I'm going to make a cover from the Kashi cereal box <laughs> for these little things. That's my intention. I don't know. You know, it depends on... Or the cer cereal box sits over here for weeks, and I just keep asking, what are you going to do with that? Yeah, I may use it, I may use it in, in, in the next... Uh, challenge. All right. Stuff it. Yeah. I'm going to stuff it full of notes. Hey, and those of you, um, if you would, uh, let's just take this little moment. Give us a thumbs up in the um, on the video. That helps us big time. Um, and then, oh, one quick thing. That made me remember. What? So we are doing the continued giveaway thing. Welcome to those of you that are new um, each week. And you can even go back on old ones. I don't care. Um, starting last week on the live stream videos leave comments let us know that you want to be entered into the giveaway when we hit our um because we're at oh 1600 something like that um when we hit our 2000 mark we will do a drawing from those of you that have left comments in all of the live stream videos so you have to either come back um i know at some point in time there's kind of a weird thing. Uh, I think it's getting better. I feel like it is. But anyway, come back, leave a comment, let us know that you want to be entered into that giveaway. We have a whole big box. I've just been collecting things, and we're probably going to even include one of our little books, papers, 
stencils, things of that nature. You know the stuff we give away. If you don't, then just watch a couple other videos. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Mark Making, Fat Nib. Mark Making <laughs> continues. Okay, you need to pull it at a 45 degree angle, place it at a 45 degree angle, and you need to keep it there. And you will notice I'm using my whole, just kind of give it a little wiggle when you put it down, get it started again. Kind of like shape, shaking a Posca marker. It is, but you can you can do all kinds of really neat things with these pens. You don't have to have a fancy four hundred dollar. What's that really fancy brand? I don't know. You've been doing a lot more research than me. Yeah, I have. <coughs> to do this, you can do this with I, I don't know what nibs are. Did we ever find nibs? Yes. So um, the product that I included it had not only the the pen. Is it? It's stylus, is it? I don't know. I mean, that's what they call it in, like, other things. But anyway, the the pen piece itself, plus the nibs, we, we uh, included a little starter set, basically. Which is nice, because it gives you four different sizes. And it's a very reasonably priced one, because, you know, if you don't know if you're committed to this... No and if you of... really don't know you're committed to this, just buy the the stylus, the body for the pen where you stick it in there with the cork here. And I highly recommend you at least get the cork because this is if you do this for a while, that piece of cork there is a lifesaver. Yeah. I can't remember if the one I found has the cork or not. It looked like it did. Okay, well if it doesn't, don't buy that one. <laughs> Move on to something else. Just Move use on to something else. Like... Just you, yes, please. <laughs> But you know, you, you can make these cool little square things with your, your pen. And I she, mean, she you know, loves that. I, I love doing this. I just, I think that this, if you're doing some kind of a theme that has, from the Renaissance, medieval, you know, whatever, historical content to it, and you need a border, I mean, it's just wonderful. Okay, I've messed around over here, and this is with a, oh, here, let me check my notes. Oh, I have the notes. No, my oh, notes. Oh, her notes. Here. Look at that. The implement used here was Dwent Intense Pencil in Charcoal Gray. And a water cartridge brush, which is another thing that I want to, and I think, did we put those on our yes. affiliate? Okay. We don't love the charcoal things, because they're quite messy. Um, oh, no, this is charcoal gray is the color, the color. of the pencil. <laughs> Sorry. But I am going to bust out the charcoal because I think I should just to be... If it's your thing. Some people, you know... Love it. Love it. I, I never, ever loved it. I, I suffered through it Me when too. I took a drawing class. I, I did not like it, it at all. <laughs> I pissed and moaned the whole time I was taking the class. The instructor hated me. Um, it's kind of my experience as well. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> did not like it. I mean, it gets embedded under your fingernails. You get it all over your face. I didn't wear glasses at the time, but, you know, you push your glasses up, you got a big black streak on your nose. And they always are breaking. They're always crumbly. They're horrible on, on hauling around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Complain about this for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We're not. Okay. So, very cool. Do all kinds of little cool line designs play around with it at first just and and this is what I would like everyone to do I would like them to make at least one little zine with different kinds of things in it and share it with us online because one of the cool things about this is is you get you get a lot of ideas from other people's work and you might not think so you might not think oh well you know this is just blah, 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 blah. yeah and we'll continue this series over you know however long you guys are interested in doing this or whatever um we're, we're really kind of p's really enjoying it I, i'm kind of like she's making great stuff that we can use for all sorts of other things that's my point of view of it yeah i love the little zine things um because that's the thing it's like you're creating little marks and, and this is kind of playtime, but it gets you in tune with what if you want to use the little quill pen or calligraphy pen or you know what is it all right now okay that's not really your thing 
and then we can we're going to show some other stuff like we were talking about with yeah. charcoal and things of that nature because you can get similar results with with different things. things and i'm going to i'm going to use some some different brushes and show you some other things here oh good morning vora and felicia hi guys <laughs> Oh, I loved the hop yesterday. I, yeah. I just, yeah. I sat here and I, I really, I just enjoyed it so much. She kept hollering down at me. <laughs> and then we were out and about, so. Yeah, so I, I had time to watch it all by myself. And sort of clean. Yeah, <laughs> sort of clean. I did, I got did. all this. You, you, yeah, you did well. I did. You did well. I cleaned the floor up enough that you could vacuum. I think that's remarkable. Yes. All right. So here is just a general, and I this is this is where I want everybody to understand things. I love this quote: "A line is a dot that went for a walk." Paul Clay. And if you don't know who Paul Clay is, you you need to Google him, look him up. He's wonderful. So when I taught this, um, and actually would do this with elementary children. They, they actually liked it. You have vertical lines, you have horizontal, you have diagonal. When you are using diagonals, you should make sure that you have it balanced out kind of both ways. That, I love that one, and we're gonna, you'll see more. You have thin lines, you have thick lines, and then you have thin, thick lines, and we like this little thing here because you can do thin, thick lines in just a stroke rather than coming in and, you know, Adding, I mean, yeah. adding it to it. But that takes a little uh, practice, too, to get the, the feel of turning that pen. And, and You're not turning it. You do yeah. not want to turn it, ever. Because if you turn it, you're not going to get them. This is why I suck at calligraphy. I am, not, I am pulling my whole hand. Oh, God, yes, now I'm having these kind of flashbacks of, yes, yes. the whole hand. Whole hand. The whole hand is necessary. Oh, I'm going to have to tape or glue the bottom of my notes are trying to escape. <laughs> notes are running away. My notes are running away. <laughs> All right, now I, I had a I had a plan here. Okay. Where's the really cool mark? Okay, here. Now, this little jobber right there, I, I think that's a really <laughs> cool one. So what did that start off with? It started off as an X. So no finger movement. No finger movements. Hand only. Hand only. Oh. I'm telling you, this is like Tai Chi. It looks like it's so beautiful and wonderful to watch the movement. But if you've ever tried Tai Chi, it's very hard. Must take, you know, it's it's a lot of concentration. <laughs> Just remember each time you put your pen down, you need to give it a bit of a wiggle. And it's really a good idea to have a little piece of paper over there so that you can get off the excess and you're not blobbing it out on them. You get better at this. That's why in those old documents there's a blop sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is kind of festive. Sort of and I don't know. Yeah. Don't know if I, I love this as much no, as I, I love the other one. No, I don't. This one. Yeah. But you can see you have a different, whole different feel to it. If you're making a shape as part of your lines, you get a natural. Yeah. Shade. A little drop in the middle, a little line over here, you know, a little line over here. You can just, it's so much fun once you really think about how you're going to make a design, a line, you know, it, it's just fun. Just, for some. For some. All right there, Doodle Queen. All right, so, now, over here on this page. Keeping her on task. Keeping me on task. We've got swirly lines, and this is where you're, you're going to love this. So you get some ink on it. Darn thing. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. I do like that. Wiggle, wiggle. <clears throat> and what's kind of cool about this is sometimes, like, I can, I, I say to Pete, well, I can do that digitally. Um, 
and that is true, but some of this is, you know, because it's hand done, it, it has a special quality to it that you wouldn't, when, when you do something digital, it looks very refined and you kind of know that it is, where this has a little bit of differences. Well, it's like, like that takes you forever know, to do digitally. If you, if you want earrings that match perfectly, go to Walmart. That's my feeling. Now, I'm being a bit snarky. And she is. That's all right. A little we'll on the... We'll just move on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Judy would like to know, how far are you putting the nib in, in the ink? Oh. Can you see that? This is why I like this little jobber here, because I can stick it to the bottom, and I, I get it almost exactly where I need it. Because... Where it's going in there, can you see the reservoir? You stick it in too far and you're, you're just, you're not helping yourself because it's going to blop. Yeah. And, and after a while, you will want to clean it because it's going to clog up. Yeah, because it kind of dries and then... It does. It dries up, and it, it'll dry up inside there. Now, I'm glad you asked that. Well, okay, I'm, I'm going to move on here because I think we've all got... No, I, one more thing. <laughs> you people that are really interested in this, what, Let us know. what your homework is going to be over the next week, week is you are going to... And I know uh, Lisa and Judy ordered books. Now, can you see what's happening? I put happening? that link below, too. The, the book that we recommend, the one that P has and has used for years, is, is in the description. I want you to be making swirly do's. And I and want you to know that, sorry to interrupt, but uh, watching you do this and looking how easy it is, it is not that easy. I'm just going to say. She do sense. not get discouraged. I am slightly discouraged. <laughs> because, and you you will notice, you, you're going to run out of ink. Yep. I, I, I kind of switch it off on the side here, but I have a little piece of paper over here, and I know it's out of thing that I'm just getting off the excess because that was way too. And if, if you're doing a lovely document, you don't. The other one is. Oh, hello, Isabella. A's. A's. A's are your <laughs> gateway letter. <laughs> gateway letter. It all O's and A's. A's. <laughs> and I mean, you know, we could even come through here and we could make a really cool design with this. Oh, I do love it. There, there is a um, a calligrapher that I watch on Instagram, and he is amazing. I, and the stuff that I've seen him do, I'm just like, man. It just takes practice. It does. And it takes dedication. It's, it's, it's muscle memory, a lot of it, after a while. Because you uh, just yes, have to is. get that rhythm, and I just never got the rhythm. Okay, if you're using India ink, you want to have a bottle with ammonia in it. Because regular soap isn't going to do it. This is water-based ink, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just take this over here and swish it around in my water that I have prepared today. Yes, Robin, we're seeing you. Sorry, I, I haven't been fluid acrylic nibs. You can also, um, yes, you can do fabric. Yeah, I'm sure that you can. When you wash them, make sure that you dry them properly because they will rust and corrode. Unless you have, you know, I guess really. gold or <laughs> silver so ones. Super Obviously, I don't have those. I just, when, when they get mucky mucked, I just toss them over and those are the ones I use when I'm going to do really brutal things you know like whatever okay that gets us going on the calligraphy side of things so here in my notes I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be very <laughs> I love it very and then this is you know you don't have to do this I'm just doing this because um I, I think it's a good idea to do this because you think you're going to remember oh. and you don't all right so implement used I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly. Is a pin. Oh, did Judy? I'm oh, sorry. Okay, hi. Is the pin, pin nib. 
Am I going to have more of an issue Higgins. since I'm a lefty? Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. 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 Baby. Oh. Mom, no one was telling me a story about a poor little girl that she taught in high school, and, and she struggled. But it's not to say that it's... They have a special thing that lefties can use. A, I, I don't, because basically what it is is you're dragging yourself through your stuff. You see what I'm I saying? Felicia was saying, yeah, you shouldn't, Judy. You just have, have the angle right. Now, as far as your hand sliding across the paper, that's the hard part. Yeah. Because, yeah, you, I didn't even think about, I, poor lefties. Yeah. And, and it, it, you're, you're going to, I have had a very sweet, I loved her. She was one of my star pupils. <laughs> and she was left <laughs> And she, she literally burst into tears because she couldn't do it. Because she could do everything else. <laughs> and she just... Yeah, it was a problem. But it is not insurmountable. I guess you could, you know, learn how to do this with your right hand. Oh, get a little ambidextrous on us, Judy. There you go. Yeah. Okay, Higgins Ink, and I could make other things on, you know, where I was going to use this. Yada, yada, yada. Because the thing is, is you are learning kind of a new skill, even though it is writing. Yeah. So this is the time to be ambidextrous, Judy. This oh. is it. <laughs> Okay, now I've got another little, what, what do we got, signature to my line. Oh, and Robin says there is a nib cleaner. Oh, well, there you go. There I just go. always used ammonia. We, we didn't know about that. But I, this was She's like, old school. we're talking about, <laughs> I, I'm not even going to say because it would tell you more about my age. I'm not going to do that. All right, so you know that you can do this with the Derwent. Now, I will say that. The fatter pins, you're going to get better results when you start out. Once you get the hang of it, you can go to a much smaller nib and you can get very fine lines. Oh, are you going to show us some fine lines? I'm going to show you some fine uh -huh. lines. If I can get that baby in there. Okay, so, fine lines. Now, this is some paper. Okay, where did we get this from? Oh, this, Kylie says there are um, calligraphy sets for left-handers. Okay, definitely you're going to want to do that because otherwise it's going to be, you'll be very frustrated. Hey, she, she, she did do some, some stuff when her left arm was broken. She got to second grade <laughs> on right. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go, Judy. And tap into those skills. Really? <laughs> okay, now I do not know what this is going to do to this. I think it's rice paper. Is but that I, the stuff that Judy said? Yes. But it goes through with this pen that I just used because you can see that, right? Yeah. It went through the second page. So what I'm going to do is it, I'm going to put it down like this so that I'm only messing up one page to see what it's going to do. I, I really don't know. This is a C... Six. The higher the number, oh, whoa. <laughs> there was more in there than you thought. <laughs> but look, that's kind of cool. You can oh, just like count that. on it. And you don't want to push too hard because it will scratch right through this very... Yeah, it's very Very. Pointy. Oh, I, I, I think this is this is wonderful. I, could, I can do all kinds of stuff. Just think about this. You could do this on this paper. You could then take it and gel print on it. I mean, how much fun is that? There you go. I like those squiggles. Oh, I do too. Those are fun. Fun stuff. I, I just, I, I do think everyone needs a pen in their repertoire of, you know, mark making. Yeah. So, like, even if you don't get into the whole thing, it's you know fun to play with. You can make cool marks. That's what we're here to show today because we want people to feel successful. And you don't have to be go into this saying, I, I want to be a yeah. master calligrapher. That's not... Yeah, you're going to be, you know, writing out wedding invitations. Yeah. <laughs> As Mariah said, they, most of those are done on the computer anyway. Uh, is that a, well, if you want to pay somebody, it's very expensive. Well, it, it is because it's, you're paying for a lot of... Uh, experience there okay now I will share with you one little thing that I do 
do is I will take a piece of pretty porous paper. It can be paper towel, whatever. Oh, I can remember this. It's funny. It's kind of okay. <laughs> so you want to get all of that gunk out from under because if you don't, after a while, it's not going to be sucking it up in there. So you want to clear it out with. This might be where the, the, the nib cleaners and handy. It could be. <laughs> it could it could be. They they may very well, you know, get in there and do the job that's not happening with just plain water and soap. And then make oh, sure good morning, Margalo. Oh hi Margalo. I remember you from last night and happy paper people. Yes. And she joined us last week too. Oh, okay. Excellent. Good to have you back. I hope this is going to welcome live ever back, up to back. Hey, we have some new people in here. If you want, just uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up. If you're watching the replay, we very much appreciate it. Leave comments below. And hey, by the way, we're also doing a big giveaway at 2,000 subscribers, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. <laughs> so really, I guess if you considered, you're getting you're getting a lot of stuff here because you've got... <laughs> You got double marks. Put, put two papers underneath each other and you can have a whole whole different feel on the other. Okay, this is other. funny. So she left me, she wrote me this uh, blog the other day and a similar situation happened. I was like, okay, by the way, could you please not like use the page that you have, you know, obviously written something down in Sharpie. And then so there was all this bloppy business in mix <laughs> with it. And I'm like, I mean, trying to read that thing was very difficult. Well, you know, and I really didn't realize that until it's halfway down the page, and I was like, oh, I, I know I'm going to be hearing something about this. <laughs> Show sure enough. Yeah. Okay, so this is this paper that I just used here, and I was... Judy, let us know exactly what it is. This yes, is the big please, thing because I, I think it's rice paper, but yeah. I absolutely love it, and it is going to be wonderful stuff. So you can really, this little... Sakura <laughs> micro pen. I was afraid I was gonna have to tap her in the side. She was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> micro perm pen. This really works pretty good. I mean, you do get some bleed through, but it dries pretty quick. But yeah, it, and the back side looks as good as the front side. Oh yeah. I yeah. haven't showed them how to fold this. Do you think I should do that? Well, we talked about the video. Kylie Koo has one. Carrie well, they might want to. They want might want to do it right now. Oh, would you guys like to see the the fold and thing of the zine real quick? She she's got it down because she did it like twenty times. Well, I did all of my signatures. Yeah, to prepare for today, so I, I got pretty good at it. <laughs> my first attempts were pretty fumbly. Oh, Ann wants to know how did the cartridge pit cartridge pins compare to the dip pin? Uh, mostly price. Price. <laughs> and plus the cartridge pins, you've got a continuous flow. But there's a downside to those. I, I have yet to have one that doesn't get clogged up and, and you know, and you have to take it apart and you do all kinds. Because the little cartridge that goes in there that sucks the ink up, mm. it will get nasty and you have to, you know, Kylie Koo likes hers. Well, you know, I... I <laughs> Each to their own. I, I just have always used this and never felt the need to purchase one. But now, I remember those cartridge that pins being laying said, around, just... remember the one that I found for Anne? What was the name of that one? I oh. watched a video on it. Anne, if you can remember, would you <sighs> yeah. at least just type it? I know she can't drop links in, but um, we did. And, and we posted that in Makers. But Mom was pretty interested in that one because she's like, maybe that's different. You know, maybe they've improved the technology enough on those things. Now, this Again, is not coming about... out exact. Um, that's not, like I said, go to Walmart. Um, I do use my... Oh, thank you, Margalo. It was a lot of fun. And you know what we're going to do this next month? Stuffed stuff. So, <laughs> if any of you are new or watching the replay, please check out the link below. There is a link to our, um, or one of our admins can drop it in. To our Facebook group, the makers of mixed media, here. art and artists. Fold here. <laughs> and um, that's where we all hang out. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, we do encourage, we want you to come and do the spooky scrolls or just make sure you use the hashtag. We'll see it in the feed or post it in any of the groups. Um, 
there were a total of what let's see here we had pegs group happy paper people felicia's felicia's uh, where, where baking meets crafting by felicia and um pegs two old crows happy paper people and then of course the makers of mixed media art and artists that is us we all participate and we're looking for other youtubers as well We'd like to grow this a little bit, not, you know, crazy amounts, but um, certainly where it's still manageable. That crow said yes. Did you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it. Voila. And just make sure that you put your, if, on your starting page, that you've got this one at the top where you can put your notes down in it. If you don't care about that, you know. Leave it open. Or... You can leave it open. This was also the same type of fold that, you did it right for the weathered no that was the, the map fold. yeah that was that was totally Bigger. totally different because it was folded 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 Fold. and then you cut out or you cut in and then you, that's right you uh, turn the folds yeah it was a lot more complicated I love this because you've got these little signatures. This can be what, you know, okay, I'm going to use pen and ink on this one. And whatever. And then when you get finished, you just use this to put it in your little book. I'm going to have mine. I hey, we could do a you could do no you could do a no stitch type cuz you can slide it in there. We even have videos on Oh, that. that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm they're going to use the elasticized um yeah, here like um I think I have one here. Hold on. Elasticized thread or even rubber bands. Yeah, I was going to say things are going to start puking out over here. <laughs> oh dear. This I mean, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Well, it's coming in too. We haven't hit October <laughs> yet or the Halloween thing. Then it's really like, you know, the tis the season. But we made these last year. And so that we have some cute little videos regarding this whole business, but that would be perfect. And we can use those. Um, hey, we'll throw some of these in the um, giveaway. Oh, yeah. We, we only have, have a, a box full. 100. Yeah, 500. 500. Actually, yeah, because we did 250 and 250. They messed yes. up the order. We thought we we're going to, you know, have a sell these. You know, not so much. <laughs> Giveaways. They are quite wonderful. It's a triple. Um, oh, yeah. It, it's, it's the it's trifecta some... paper. Awesome. They are very good for all sorts of things and actually has a cool little design on it and everything. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do another little video once we're all done with the mark making business. We'll uh, bind it all up. Sorry, my brain is. Okay. So, I, I just, I. <laughs> I really, uh, I wanted to talk about, this is to help me remember what to talk <laughs> about, inks. Because I, I think it, it was either Judy or Lisa, I don't know, one of them <laughs> asked about inks. You don't have to spend a ton of money on inks. Now, these little jobbers are really fancy hoop de -doos. Um, How old are they? Well, this one is really old. Yep. This one's relatively new. You can see the box. Because I wanted a brown ink. And isn't this a beautiful brown? Oh, did you get that when you got your glass pen? I think okay. so. And I, I'm going to use that with my, my glass pen. And Felicia was talking about she has a glass pen. Yeah. I and uh, Did we find the information on the one that I have? Have you seen the little books made with envelopes? We did envelope books. We did. Yeah. And that would be... A, an, that would be... Um, in fact, it was a Louisa Heinzel, I think, one of our last design team um, things that we did. I like having these all on the shelf. I need to clean off the shelf and make them a little more accessible. But this would work great for that because you could tuck them in there. You could tuck your little pieces into the envelopes. I love that. Oh, it's been a while and, since it's been open. And, you know, these little things, you can pull them out if you use the elastic. And, I mean, you could yeah. actually... You, if you tuck your notes in, then you don't have the written part there. But this could be really great on the back of an... Uh, let me grab one. Uh, 
ATC. Look at that. So you could just, and y'all know about that. Y'all know about that. How, how to, you know, glue papers down. <laughs> we assume that. Um, yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Okie dokie. All right. Inks. Ink. Yes, back to ink. Okay, I told you about the Higgins waterproof drawing ink. This is a staple. You will definitely want to purchase some of that. Uh, Windsor Newton ink is great. Uh, I had this silver ink and I would not recommend it. It may be better now. This is a really yeah. old, but I thought it pretty much sucked. It dried up, and you know, and all the stuff always goes to the bottom. You spend more time. Well, you know, that's really shaking your jar to get the ink distributed with the silver part, and yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't recommend it. It is probably for a higher level of you know, like if you really know what you're doing, you can move along, get her done. That this is probably true, but I, I, I think the metallic inks, I've never been terribly well, impressed with them, but. That's like true I said, paint. They, it dries quicker. It does, and it clogs up your pen. Clogs up your pen. Particles. That's that's my my thing. Particles okay, paint. now there was some. There was <laughs> this note that I wrote Mariah, and I, I kept it because it has some information on it that was really oh goodness and important. And was gifted uh, several boxes of new envelopes just before learning about envelope books. Oh! Anne has gifted the most amazing things. I tell you what, she's living right. Her yes. karma is so good. I'm, yes. I'm sucking up her karma. Oh, Anne, I have to tell you this. I was looking through this. Well, the notebook that Mariah was griping about that had you know blobs on the other side when I was writing out what we're going to be doing today. Um, I, I kept a, this this list when we first started doing. I don't know. It's maybe maybe it's even card making. No, it wasn't that far back. No, it wasn't that far back? No. Just when we started doing journals then, because I was a part of all of these different groups. I just joined every one of them. Oh, she did. I was like, I mean, I have a whole page. Lady. Yeah, okay. Well, because they all, you know, had different people and stuff on them. I en I've ended up that most of them I just opted out, and I no longer even mess with that. But your name is in my notebook, and I wrote down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness. Okay, goes. well, you know, that's that's what this is all about. I got to show you my notebook here. <laughs> Whoa, knocking stuff over. Okay, Sit here's down. a whole bunch of names here. Quotes that I like. Uh, ideas. Okay, here we go. Here's my list of things that I, groups I belong to. And you can see I really didn't. <laughs> Can, just see who engages with her and what comments she likes. Yes. <laughs> Here's an idea for used stuff. I don't know if you should be showing this on the internet. Oh, shoosh. <laughs> okay, here we go. And can they see that? Yeah. And lover. Sterling, Virginia. Oh, I even wrote down where you lived. You wrote down Gorgeous Rust. That was a comment you made well, on hopefully ours. Hopefully, you wanted everybody to know all that. And I love the well-traveled hippo, but also the cool weaving with silk and women brooch. And little cards from poster board. I don't really know what that meant. but. And then here's Seth. Here's Debbie. All right, there, Look, Captain. Mo, <laughs> Mo, your rust is epic. Cookie Wookie. And then I have a comma out there. That's the same one. Yeah, she was asking me, is that Cookie Wookie? Oh, now, come on. There That's go. some good stuff there, y'all. That is. That's very sweet. All right. All right. Back here. Back to a rat killer. All right. So, wrote all this stuff down. And then <laughs> I had this right handy there. So, my dip pen, which I'm going to get that out in a minute. And I think that that's the, bless you, Cyclamen. I knew it was coming. Sorry, guys. Cyclamen ink. Here, this pink stuff. Very obviously not waterproof. <laughs> this was also the list that she gave me. I was this like, you are killing me. <laughs> killing me with this business. Like, how am I? What? What's the list? She's like, that's the, you know, over here. Yeah. So give me this back because I'm using it. <laughs> like, okay. okay, so this down here in purple is with, also with the dip pen. But it's, I just dipped it in the eye zinc. 
Oh, here it is. Look, right here. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Lavender violet. I'm getting the, the you know, because there's a slight delay. And so now I'm getting the, the bless yous. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy says, you didn't tell me bless you. <laughs> So yeah, you got to get. I don't don't leave too much time because boy, I mean she's on it. <laughs> she is. I don't really know what her perception of that is, but anyway, you can use this stuff. Oh yeah, that was as great. ink. Now the ones with the stuff in the bottom that you have to shake, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would, oh, I, would you stop with that? Goodness. Did I mess it up? No, you're good. Oh, okay, I okay. think I don't know. You've got the whole grid covered up at this point, so <laughs> we're all right. <laughs> It's not making you crazy. It's not. Okay, so alternatives to ink is eye zinc. <laughs> alternatives to ink is eye zinc. Is eye zinc. Dye spray. <laughs> okay, so this is fancy <laughs> stuff. It's very high dollar, but it does have this cute little thing on there. Isn't that, darling? Oh, that's clever. I always I keep these jars. Yeah, she does. Just because of that. I think that's so cute. But they're really horrible on the shelf because they take up more real estate than... Yeah, and they don't really... Like, yeah. You can't stack them. You can't stack them. I don't know, but After I love this, this ink. I, I, I know it's 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 pricey, but it's it's nice. It works, and you can that's see here... Brand. Yeah, this is the brand. Right, all of this writing is done with this... I don't think uh, I added I that can't, to the list. I don't, I, I really, I don't, I can't even see, it's C. Wait, here, give it to me. I, I can't see it. She can't see it. Oh, goodness. Cafe de Isles. Okay, yeah, I this saw that. That's the, that's the color of the ink. And it's, um, J. Herbin. And it's French, so it's probably Herbin. 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 Shop. Ah, see, this is when we need Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, are you? She can say these things and sounds And it beautiful. says, <laughs> ink for fountain pens. So, you could use this with the fountain pens that have the bladder that the pulls, it, pulls it up in there. The bladder. Yeah. Never mix two different inks. Boy, they all say that. They really don't want you mixing And, and this is made in France. <laughs> that's probably why it's so darn expensive. I didn't really know do, that. Do you think that that's just a marketing thing? Or, like, is there some... Oh, no. If you mix this with, like, India ink, it, it gets all it kind curdles. of... Yeah, curdles. Actually, curdles. I, I've done it before just to see if it was true. <laughs> Why they true. can't tell you not to mix it with it. <laughs> I wanted to know. Yeah, is this a marketing thing Come on. or just a... Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so this brings me... I talked about this a little bit. Different kinds of papers. <laughs> Obviously, different kinds of papers are going to give you... Oh, hello, Heather. <laughs> give you different results. This here is just our craft paper. I'm trying to see where I actually started with this. Okay, this is with brush. I'm going to move me because I seem to be in a very prominent situation there. I'm going to... What? Move over here, maybe. There we go. Oh, you're talking about the chitty yeah. chat? The chitty okay. Chat. There we go. So, we're going to bust out the brushes. We're just going to use oh. the rest of our ink because we already have it out here. I'm not going to... Boy, I'm... I'm batting a hundred here. <laughs> okay, this this is done with, um, where is that brush? I guess I put it away. But I wanted to talk about a, a really cheap alternative is you go, and I looked at this and it says, look at that, 49 cents. So I have had this one a while. It's been abused. It was made in Indonesia. I don't even think we get anything from there anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> But yeah. it was already mucked up, and you can see it's all... It's just a mucky brush. It's a mucky brush. Hashtag mucky muck. Mucky muck. But it really does some absolutely marvelous thing. I don't. I, I used another brush, but I'll, I'll get different paper here. Remind me to talk about this, though. I wish you'd more, move more to, towards the middle and less... You see, you're so used to scooting over that way, I think. She's I am. scooting that way again. But <laughs> someone, and I hope they're here today, wanted to know about making that was julie probably not she's in australia so the time is julie yeah I but hope she'll you're... probably watch back she probably will there's some wood grain for you sweetie and i you know i mean you can mess with that well and what's cool with that is so this would be like layer one to create your wood grain and then, then you can 
come over with some washes, which, you know, remind me, and I'll, I'll do I that. Because I know you wanted to even, like, uh, do your gel printing or whatever. Okay, that brush is a Sumi. I don't know if it was this one. Okay, it's this kind. And you can see that the bristles kind of dry out. Boy, you can get all kinds of mark making wonderful things going on with that. Are you going to show us that? Uh, sure. I, I would. I'm more interested in the brushes. Because these are the things that usually when she makes these type of marks, I turn them into the stuff that, like from papers to stencils to whatever. Okay, you need to wet it so that you get a nice point on it. Because yeah. you saw how it was going. <laughs> you know, you don't want the. <laughs> You know what? Especially if you want to get, you know, any kinds of, okay, I'm get this out of here. I'll just use this paper. I've got some room here. Okay, you got the right. I've got some right. Okay, perpendicular. There. Muy okay. importante. I'm just going to turn my camera off. Hold on one second. There we go. You need to keep your brush perpendicular to your working surface. That's how you get all of those nice. When you push on it, you get fat. When you lift up, you get skinny. Okay, this this is this brush has been abused. <laughs> it's Heather D. That that is that is the way to kind of go. Like we have oodles and scoodles of containers of cheap brushes. It's good to have one or two good brushes for these yes. type of situations but yeah okay. for the most part yeah that's what we use around here isn't it and, and this one here <laughs> this this beveled brush um I, I don't even really use it to paint anymore because i've used it so much for it's kind of frayed out <laughs> gluing but i mean you know it'll still it'll still work it'll still make <coughs> and i think mariah put a link in Yes, a brush, brush set that, oh dear, that would actually, I thought it was going to be the quickest thing. It ended up being, finally P was like, oh my God, I'm getting on here to. Okay, <laughs> obviously. You can take the tip of the bevel, and that's what's nice about this brush. If you don't want to be messing around with a whole bunch of brushes, and you're really in a point where you, you, you need thick and thin, and you don't need to muss about. Oh, Anna wants to know, so she has, I have some screen printing ink. Will that work with the dip pens? No, it will not. Yeah, but see, yeah, and then yeah, the, Kylie says just don't let it dry on the nib. Because it, or that, just get some junky I nibs would, I if would, you wanted to. I would, you know, anything that is has an acrylic base to it, I would be up. highly suspicious that it was going to do anything good with your brushes that require. It's just like a nib. Nibs. Nibs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can use it on there, and you can throw them away, or you can just keep you can keep cleaning them rapidly. Um, you know, unless you just have to use that, I, I there would certainly be a lot of other things that would be preferable. Okay. So we talked about this. Now I want to show you what the nice little. Okay, these are not terribly expensive. I purchased these years ago when I took a watercolor class. <laughs> I was Sharon was saying something was very O'Keefe. And oh, and then Ann was asking, is that a chip brush? Sorry, man, I am struggling on chat today. Woo. And let's see. Margalo said yes, she said that yes, she thought that was kind of O'Keefe as well. I don't know. Maybe your stuff that you got going on there or what you were doing. And then, um, there we go. Sorry, man, I am having a rough day, aren't I? <laughs> she is. I'm going to get this other stuff. <laughs> she's looking at She's giving me kind of confused looks. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> all right, all right. I, I'm going to get that out of the way, and I'm going to go back to my little books here. Because after all, that is what we are doing. Yeah, here. and that big piece of paper was taking up too much space. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to the little smaller books oh, with the, the smaller. Was oh, the wood grain. Yes, that makes sense. It did have that oh, sort yeah. of. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I didn't even think about. It. See, that's that's what's that's what's wonderful about having, having other people, people see things. things. Well, now I lost it. She's, she's lost her wood. <laughs> Sorry. <'cause. laughs> 
My marbles are still intact. My wood is Not left so the same. Much. Oh, yeah. It's okay. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I really, I, I love that swishy, you know, whatever. And I'll tell you what, Robin McClendon does some wonderful things on her gel plate with... Uh, swishy bits. Swishy bits. So Swishy brushes. All right. Again, this Ooh. is, you know, when we were using the stylus and the nibs holding the pen at a 45 degree angle was paramount to your success paramount to your oh, success Oh, okay that makes sense so robin says that acrylic airbrush inks work well with nibs and brushes aha uh -huh. well that would make sense because, because you gotta of blow the it clogging that factor yes so they would be the consistency also that you would need there you go yeah okay there you go perpendicular to your page this is a wonderful exercise to do so that you get control of your brush. And what I would tell my, I, I did a whole Sumi, uh, uh, what you call it when you, uh, lesson. And I taught third through sixth graders how to do calligraphy, Chinese calligraphy, and they would do their names in the um, Chinese syllabary. It's called katakana, and they loved it. But you go in, you take off, your airplane comes, it lands, and then it takes off. It lands and it takes off. Okay, this this brush is really not mm -mm, that's a doing poopy, it for me. No, a poopy brush. Poopy brush. Well, it, it isn't a poopy brush, but um, let's try this one. It's seen better days. That brush. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the brushes that I have here have seen, seen better, better days. days. Well, especially okay. since Izzy, Izzy's very hard on them. In fact, P has taken a lot of them away because she has not acquired no. the right. Okay, this was this is a good. I like these marks. Okay, now, this is what I like about the water soluble inks. You can get it out. You don't have to take and do a lot of washy washy. Washy washy. Washy washy. Oh. You can do it <clears throat> with watercolors. I'm going to get those out in a minute. Do you have water? I <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm telling you, it's rough over here, guys. <laughs> Allergies and whatever. <laughs> whatever the baby brings home. Oh, that's really great. I just sucked up a blob of water there. Oh, well, we'll just make it work. Yeah, I was going to say, you're adding care. <laughs> uh, this is obviously gel printed. So this is on top of uh, watercolor on top of gel printing, which has some really wonderful effects here, you can see. I like that. I... I I think that, and I wish I could find the brush that I used to do this with. I don't know. Well, really... you should have, like, taped it down to it. <laughs> I really should have. I, I just, I, you know, it's not in the, it's not in my mix here. I don't think. It might be this one. I don't know. Let's try this. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. What's this? Oh. Yeah. I did a whole thing with. Yeah, peace botanicals. I was like, wow, who knew you had it in you? Well, I didn't know that she has it in her. I, sometimes I have to request these things. She doesn't normally just go there. No, I, I don't. <laughs> that she has to be prompted. Okay, here's But my... I think that that would make a really cool stencil. See, this is how a lot of our stencils start. Look at that one. Now, okay. sometimes they require a bit more digital work because... Okay. Brush strokes her. Do you see what's happening here? As the brush dries out, you're getting more brushy, strokey things going on there. This is a number six. It's a cheap brush from NASCO. It's called Pro Pro Performance. We couldn't find these online. Well, it's NASCO is a is a specialty, and I. I learned about this from somebody in, in the the watercolor class that said, you know, you don't have to have really expensive brushes. They have some really decent ones for a decent price at NASCO. 
and I, I don't even know if these people are still in business. Well, we couldn't find them on Amazon. Let's just say that. I didn't well, do a they're... deep dive into the internet. <laughs> yeah. If somebody wants to do that, please let me know because I think... That she does love these brushes. I do love them. <clears throat> I, I don't know that they still make them. Oh, thank you, Kylie. Well, I say thank you. Um, Kylie says, that's so lovely, the watercolor. Anne loves the watercolors. Yes. We'll, we'll get to some more watercolor. Okay. Brush strokes practice. Awesome mark making. We are mark making. We are mark making. And check mark to the mark making on calligraphy. Yes. Using pens, nibs. Okay. We have done... What's um, my what's my timeline here? Uh, you got an hour. All right, makes me feel really good. Okay, <coughs> moving right along. But Let yes, we've we've done inks and alternatives. We have done now brushes, different pen nibs, and are you going? Are you bringing your pencils? Oh, you're doing the crayons. Okay. We're going to do the crayons simply because I want to bring in my little brushes. Oh, look at you! Oh, so and I tell you what, if you guys don't think that you influence us. <laughs> Check our Amazon account. <laughs> Tell you what, there's boxes arriving. <laughs> okay, I have poo pooed these for so long she, and thought that you I, even you even said no to me. At one I, point. I did. She's like, no, that's silly. Just get you some water. <laughs> She's in love. I'm okay. You. I, I did not. I, 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 I'm eating my words. Uh, these are aqua. You, uh, there's a whole bunches of them. And I have no idea if these are the best. These are the only ones I've tried. So, you know, those of you who've used these, let me know, please, if there's an she, alternative. She's now open-minded to them. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, oh, <laughs> if I can get them out of their little packaging, I managed to. I'm it. happy that you kept that. Though. I haven't put that on our affiliate list because I told her, I said, I don't want to put that on any list until you really, if you really do like it. Well, what's really great about these little jobbers is, um, <laughs> can you see? All right, here, I'll just take the lid off all of them. All right, if you hold it, like, right over where the ca crayons are, that's, like, mid-screen, and you're getting good light. And over the white paper are there. Yeah, there you go. Well, we just need contrast, because the tips of there these are plastic. Right. And it's, yeah. So you get three different sizes. You get small, medium, and large. And really, I've only used the uh, medium and large. I haven't used that little one, but I'll probably hand that across to Mariah. I think this would be perfect for her to work with her uh oh don found some of the nasco ones on ebay oh <gasps> okay. really we'll have to, dear Lord. snatch I, those boogers it is very dangerous to let pee over on ebay yeah i don't even go there anymore because i have no self-control <laughs> starts to look at jewelry and beads and things yeah it's dangerous but okay here's old vicky and this here's is the, old vicky i i i really you know i i like vicky more than i like seth because Vicky's, you know, it's a, it's, it's <laughs> six of one, half a dozen of the other. Once you put water over cess, they're done. Yeah. They don't go anywhere. They don't move they about stay. the cabin, as we say. Okay. Well, Vicky's, you can come back, you know, next year sometime. <laughs> and she'll still be giving you nice little <laughs> fluffy workable bits. <laughs> fluffy bits there. Okay. <laughs> so the trick to this is to get it going. And you kind of have to squeeze it. But you don't want to be shooting water out there, so, you know. So, okay, can you see that little drop there on my hand? Oh, look at her. She is just so pleased with this. I'm just... <laughs> you can hear it in her voice. I, I just, I really, oh, whoop, blobbed. Okay. You kind of get have to get the hang of it, but you can see what your options are here. Well, you can take what you've done with Vicky, and you can make it a lot... Clean those lines up. Clean those lines up. Make them go into little, you know, loop de loops. Oh, just... Anne was saying it was, it watching Felicia paint was marvelous. It really, was. it really was. I just, Felicia, I, I enjoyed it so much, and I was so proud of you. <laughs> I mean, I really did. I just, I had that, you know, parent feeling of being proud of your child. I, I was, and I told Mariah, I said, you know, I just, I, I, I just sat there in utter amazement. I wanted to slow it down, actually. So that I, I could watch it. Well, you know you can half speed your watch time. Now, it makes the music kind of sound weird. Oh, I could just turn that off. Yeah. But, um, All right. Now, y'all can see what's what's happening here. I mean, you know, if you, you want to 
really, you know, just use that as a, as a darkening agent. You wanted to bring it and uh, and you just. Oh, we love you, Felicia. <laughs> she says we're gonna make her cry. <clears throat> but so so much that you can do with these little. Judy these little says she, she bought watercolors and then realized I have one of those and get it out after frustration of dipping my pencil. Yeah. Oh, that is another thing uh, that I wanted to talk about, and I'll just do that here on the other side of this. Is these pencils? If you want, because remember, once it has water on it, it sets up. Yes. That these was... pencils, you don't not want to be dipping them in there because what happens is they don't work after a while. Right. And P was doing that. I was doing. The reason I know that and then, is because <laughs> Robin told us you don't want to do that. And, and I was like, like oh, well, yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. And you can, and you if you want to do that, just get a little drop of water somewhere. Don't let it go back into the wooden part of the pencil, and then you can do that. But that's how you get little, you know, or you come in with your little watercolor brush, and you make fun little doodly marks. Doodly marks. Doodly marks. Doodly doodly. Doodly doodlies. <laughs> I love all these marks. I'm just sitting here thinking about how can I turn that into a stencil. <laughs> that's, that's what Mariah does. I, I just pr provide her with the... And, you know, I, I'm quite sure that these lids will be disappearing. I, I never can keep track of lids. <laughs> Lord, I can't even keep track of the brush. So I, 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 I don't know how long those lids will <laughs> be available. But whatever. These are awesome, awesome. Awesome blossom. And the thing about them is, is that they really do have, I mean, that little brush that's on there. Oh, hello, yes. Jenny June. Quite adequate. Okay. Now. Uh, here's a funny story about this little thing. Tell them about that thing. Okay. So, <laughs> I bought this some time ago. We're on to watercolors here. I'll just use this page here. It doesn't matter. But this is where these little, little jobbers shine. Now back to my little watercolor thing here. It does. It has no identifying marks on it at all. It is not branded. It is not branded at any point anywhere. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know if they just got this generic case at a really good price and decided, yeah, what the heck. And well, and I'm also wondering if this has to do with some of the COVID stuff. Because we've noticed here in the states, cups and are are no things, longer marked. Yeah, a lot of things are not getting printed like they once were so i wonder if that's the reason and then there were just you know marketing wise it was just too much of a pain to change up the box or this or that i, I find this sort of thing very interesting just the whole supply chain and marketing and branding and such but i wonder if that's why <clears throat> well it certainly could be but what i did is i looked up my order <laughs> yeah because i was like well where did you order it and here's the other thing she always has her email sent to me Except for this one. She didn't have it sent to me. So I was like, well, I can't help you. <laughs> Don't send me email. It, it, it. And actually, if you want to get a hold of me, call Mariah because I don't answer my phone either. Um, <laughs> and as for my... <laughs> our Michael used to always say, you know, you've got that thing. I wish you'd answer it when I call you. And I said, you know, that phone is for my purposes. If I need to talk to somebody, I, I will call you. Otherwise, just assume that I am not interested in talking to you right now. Okay, look at that she, she nice this way little with her children too. <laughs> nice little see. I mean, I don't know what these were price wise, but they really was not very much. But that's a that's a nice little brush. But I looked into this because I watched this video, and that's why I have this little travel pan of. Okay, this is, remember the... Yeah, so what paint? is the brand after we hammered yeah, on about okay. all that business? Oh, yeah, and here's another. <laughs> yeah, don't buy this. Don't buy this, but... Don't buy this, but, but you, the watercolors are awesome. <laughs> Do not buy this paint. It is horrible, horrible paint. Oh, she's being really I'm, I'm being horrible. Overly dramatic. Yeah, I am being over... It, it has is, purpose. It is heavy body, but for <laughs> some reason it dries so fast. Massey's after the zombies. Go get them, Massey. 
Such, anyway. Such a cluster today. <laughs> This works great if you mix <laughs> impasto and retardant with it <laughs> on the plate. Hey, and if you want to know how to do that, just watch one of our gel printing videos. Or, hey, I have links and things and, yeah, below. And, and I, I'm hoping to get, I, I don't know if I'll get to it or not, but I wanted to gel plate some of my lines that I made just because I thought that would be really cool to use transparent paint for my... I'm just really surprised you hadn't figured out a way to do mark making, you know, on the gel plate. Oh, you can't. Well, yeah, I know, but I you didn't really have it, like, in the mix here. Well, I didn't just yeah. simply because I thought, you know, if you want to see that, you can go over and Robin has some, uh, McClendon has some really nice videos see, about look, that. See, look, we're always willing to share the love and send people off our channel. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, I, 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 redundancy is something and that I, I really, you know. She, she does not suffer it. I, I, I don't. Don't. Okay. And now, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to wash those out. I guess just like you do or everything else. Or squeeze it. You puke, puke it in. into it. Puke it into another <laughs> receptacle. Yep, look, that works great. Okay. <laughs> it's a little stained. I might need to, you know, yeah. rinse that a little bit. Put a little towel off to the side. Yeah. Wipe the nose. <laughs> yeah, it it's a sustained, but it's, it's, it's functional. All right, now here's what I really liked about this set is this little this little br the brush this that's with the set usually these i throw away so if you guys didn't catch that it's the lucas krill but it's their watercolors their yes. watercolors are absolutely wonderful very creamy very nice and remember when we talked about the fine tech as opposed to the calero the reason that you do that is because they solubilize instantly there's nothing worse than having to you really have spend to. hours waiting for your dead gum paint to get so that you can use it and these take a while they're wonderful they're they really take, yeah oh. you want to put that water in 15 minutes before you're actually painting with it yeah it yeah. is noticeable very noticeable okay now we've talked about those a lot so i'm just going to put those aside for right now you know about those yeah i know choleric or uh, <clears throat> fine tech needs to be sending us a check <laughs> boy i'll say <laughs> hey, Mariah, I hate to ask you this, but... What? What you need? Never you want your little jar or your little I, dish? I need fresh water because I now have black water and okay. I can't... Uh, no, don't, I'll just use that for rinsing if you can just get me some clean water. I can do that. But that's what's nice about these little brushes. You don't really have to... Um, now, this one's kind of gooped up. I don't know if it's going to still have a little black on it. I'll try Mariah's. Yeah, okay. The reason watercolors are part of this is because you can come back in with your watercolors and your thank you. You're very welcome. That's lovely. I don't really think I need this right now. Anyway. Come back in with your watercolors on your <coughs> on your line designs that you've made with um, whatever. Now this is the ink tense. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to see. <laughs> Kylie there says, we go. yeah, Calero even, they, they even tell you to put the water on and leave it. <laughs> so they know. Well, of course they know. <sighs> well, now that, I, I had to choose the most opaque paint in the whole Is that the okra? Here. Ochre. Ochre. Yeah. <laughs> it's not okra. <laughs> it's ochre. No, ochre. Okay, get it started, or started over here so I know I've got water going. This could explain some of your hand breaking out, maybe. Maybe. Look at that. And it's just, you know, I mean... So whimsical. I always once, feel watercolor is whimsical. Once you start getting the hang of this, and this is, this is the... Der Der vent, der, 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 Dewent. Dewent. You don't say the der, although we want Dewent. to. You can't give well, Texans. Well, it's like Worcestershire. Well, yeah, you can't give Texans, like, you know, an R and not expect us to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, you got to get her done. Okay. Now, <laughs> the other thing is, is you can just, you can use your little pen here, put down some water. Sharon says your doodle is stunning. Thank you. And peek a doodle. And then she'll turn a doodle into, you know, some kind of lifelong artwork. Because I tell you, we got boxes. 
she could pull them out and be like, oh, I need to do some more work on that. I got ideas about it now. I just, I was so done with it. <laughs> that sounds so snotty. It did. I'm sorry. <laughs> but she knows it's true. Oh. Okay. I think you can see. I, I don't have to do any more here. Um, <laughs> you guys like watching pea doodle and yeah. watercolor. But you've got your little book with your black and white doodles. Come in with your watercolor and, and, and make your mistakes here so that you don't have to make your mistakes on your... This is all practice. Oh. All, so there's this, and I'll, I'll make it really, really short. This And I loved it. My mom told me a few weeks back. And it was something that one of the professors at Tech told Dad or you or... I don't know. Anyway, but basically the story is that, um, and it had to do with calligraphy, like Chinese. Oh, no, it was Dr. Platten. There we go. I knew I'd spark her. At Tech. And the story goes, basically, this guy hired the calligrapher to do a, a painting or, a, you know, a, a work. And the guy, finally, over months and months and months, the guy shows up at his house and says, you know, I've been waiting for this. And he goes, okay, well, let me do it for you. And then he just whips it out. And it's it's done, and it's beautiful. And he says, well, if you could do it so quickly, why did I have to wait so long? And then he walks over to the closet and opens it up, and all these practice sheets roll out. And he had spent that entire time practicing and that's how long it takes to be able to then do something very quickly. Did I tell it well? You did an excellent job. There we go. So that's the, you know, it's, it's really that's, true. That's what we're doing here. We're, we're playing. We're deciding what colors go good together. This is stuff we're that goes coming in up. We're making a vocabulary of lines so that our lines can look different from everyone else's. Because that is, that is the goal. Right? We want our artwork to be distinctive and unusual and one of a kind. I, I, at least I, that's what I think. And it's, it's not going to happen. And I have to be careful here because I haven't put any water on the <laughs> dwent. <laughs> so you're going to activate it. I'm going to activate it and it's going to do its own little thing there. Process of bleeding out into... Okay, you get the idea. I don't, I don't think we need to be, belabor that any longer. Yeah. And what I would like to do is I just, I'm going to hand these across to you, Mariah, and while I get ready to do, now let me let, check and make sure I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about here. Well, here, and I have the things to stress. We have oh, oh, the, oh, oh, oh. the inks or alternatives, which we've done, brushes, different kinds, pen nibs, um, pencils, we've you kind of talked about the stay below stuff with the mark making the DeWint pencils as well. Charcoal, we have not oh, touched yeah. upon. Oh, probably. Oil pastels, which you did the crayons. Did the crayons. Um, oil pastels, obviously, um, would be a little bit different of a, of a deal. Uh, let's see. And then you did your line mark, uh, or a line is a mark. Or a, a mark yeah, is a see. dot off on a walk. Went for she, a walk? Yeah, she wrote out things. See, I'm trying to read these things of hers. Um, texture pattern brush stroke. The calligra calligraphic line. There we go. That's the notes, y'all. Calligraphic. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't, I failed to mention this because this is everybody's go to, or these stabilos. And I really like them. And did you know that they come in colors also? <laughs> I, I discovered that was as I was looking that up <laughs> online about. They do. They come in colors. It's like. And I really I, I like I I like them, but you need to be careful. You know, need to know that you know they're going to move about. Move about the cabin, and they're going to continue moving about the cabin. Oh, glass pen. Oh, holy cow! Thank you, Isabella. Gosh. <laughs> Need some people to keep us on track here. Need to get rid of some of this stuff here. <laughs> oh, before I go on to that, I want to show you this. This is really old. I did this when I was still <clears throat> at Tech. 
<clears throat> but it's it's what well, you, you can... just signed it though. Well, that's because I didn't have those colors, and you can sign watercolors and pencils. It's acceptable. No, what I'm saying is <coughs> you signed it as Patricia Carmichael. If you were still at Tech, it would have been Patricia Scott. So well, you, you can timeline things by you her could name. Be, you could be right. Or Trish. And in fact, if it was really uh, old, it would, it would be, be Trish. Yeah, it would be, because that was way back when. All right, well, I may be mistaken on this, but the, <laughs> where I started this, this style was at Tech with Dr. Yes. Platt. Because he had spent years, uh, like five years in Japan, and learning how to do Japanese calligraphy. And he was my instructor, he was my professor for my education uh, advisor at Tech. And he was very interesting, very interesting man. All right, now what am I doing? We're Last doing... Thing. It's right there. Doing... Uh, oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I just want the to go. Where did, it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? This is what go? happens when you clean up. Okay, it comes in a really spiffy little box. Nice, you know. <laughs> it's not flimsy. The box. No, it's, it's nice. <clears throat> Izzy helped me pick this, pick this out. This is the mermaid. Look at that. <laughs> There's other ones. There's unicorn ones and... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's very fancy And you ones. don't you don't have to do that, but, I, you know, she sat th there with me, and I really wanted one of these because I can't remember. Dora. Dora. The, what was she? The something cracker. <clears throat> I don't, I can't remember. I don't even know if Dora's doing stuff like I haven't seen her post in a while, but. Okay, so I need to bring back my ink that I away. Where's my brown ink? Can anybody see my brown ink? <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I really like this brown ink, and it works for so many things. And what's cool about this pen is you don't need to put your ink in some other whatever. Because you want to stick it down in there. You want to get it on the little spirally things there. Because that's what's holding the ink. Because that's your reservoir. There you go. And you can, what's nice about these, you're not getting thick, thin lines so much, but you can start see to see where your ink's running out. Okay, if it, it's not up here in the the swirly in the <clears throat> spirally things, you're running out. And you do have, it seems to me. Now you can see. I love your simic writing. Okay, now that is. <laughs> and, just, and now I want a glass pen. <laughs> we have affiliate links. Yeah. <laughs> that is not going through the paper. Well, it did a little bit. So you can kind of count on that. But you don't have to do that. But but that's the um, that's the rice paper, right? No, this is this is copy paper. Oh. This is. Okay, so. You don't have to, you can do X's and do the dots. And cool little designs. Cool little designs and you can. Get scrolly and dashy and dotty. <laughs> scrolly, dashy, dotty. <laughs> Whatever. You can come back through and make those X's. You can come back and through and make them pluses and minuses and circles. and the, These are fun. I, I really, you need, if you don't have one of these, you need to add it to your And it is quite reasonable. You can find reasonable ones. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, I, even, I think this was like $16, $17. Now, you'd have to pay shipping. But you can find sets, too, that come with inks. Yes, and I, I hey, chose. and there were even ones that had um, different tips I had 
that of I these? saw on there. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. I didn't spend a lot of time on it because we were trying to make out the list, but um, th they do have ones that have alternate kind of tips. I mean, I think it comes with three different, like, actual pins. Oh. And you just stick the glass uh, tip into the... No, like, the, it was three different ones. Oh. I think. Hmm. Well, you know, if you're doing... Turn the page here. Turn the page. Turn the page. And see, I can use this page, too. And this is... So, so this will be your little glass pen book. Or signature. Yeah. This will be my signature for my... You don't get thick and thins with this pen. It doesn't matter how, how you hold it. Because the tip is round. What's that? Can you see it? You kind of get... You get a little fatter bit at the beginning. <laughs> well... More ink. <laughs> more ink. That's it. And if you go fast... You can get some, you know, wispy. Oh, so Carrie says she likes using Noodler's ink with her glass pen, which is a water waterproof if allowed to dry thoroughly, and I don't have to worry about it ruining my favorite fountain pen. That's pens. excellent, excellent. Okay, could you put that <laughs> link? Could you send that to PM Artist Studio? Because this is not waterproof. You saw the one that I, I showed you earlier. Noodler's. Noodlers. Write that down. <laughs> She's writing that down I'm in her glass it. pen uh, in the in the little book. N O O D L E R S. Noodlers. Noodlers. Water proof. Hey, and I'll be coming back and putting that in the when <laughs> in the description box D -R -Y. below. D R Y. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, I should have written that on my notes. Rather than straighten the book. <laughs> straighten the book. Well, what I know, what I need to be writing on here is I need to write down what kind of ink this is. And um, what, what was the name of this? I can't So read it's it. the J. Herbin. J. H. E. R. B. I. N. Is it B. I. N. or B. E. N? I don't know. Is there an I there? I think it's I. N. Okay, don't hit you. Don't have the yeah, lid on. Okay, I don't have the lid on. <laughs> Implement. Implement. Glass pen. Oh, you're running out. Get it on there. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. Okay, you can see. All right, rinsey rinse. And I have, that's what I love about that. Look at the cleanup. And I mean, even if stuff dries on here, it's glass. You can soak it in like Murphy's or whatever uh, ammonia yeah. and get it off even if it's if it's um, you know, if India have. ink that's what I really liked about these now the downside is uh, you don't be dropping this on your they tiled were just, they floor. were just talking about that <laughs> it's probably not gonna break on the carpet but yeah yeah there is that that's why they send you that cool little box box fancy box and we love some boxes fancy box to store it in all right, we've got 30 minutes, approximately. Um, 30 minutes, okay. Charcoal. Charcoal. <laughs> yeah, you know, so Are you sick. guys really excited about charcoal? We don't have to do charcoal. Like, we could do the gel print. We, we could go <laughs> just straight to gel printing. I yeah. could just move all this away. Um, well, let me bust it. I'll just sh I'll show Oh, that's you. right. Car Carrie, ha she's a... She's a... a an ad... Or a moderator so she can drop links awesome very good okay look at this i've got that one started with my pen this one this one i tried to get it down so that i had one for each thing that i was doing today and i think i'm doing really well <laughs> there's my notes <laughs> show enough Okay, I want you to appreciate this box, uh, yeah. because Mariah said, you know, Mother, the box is probably... Okay, turn it around. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Prang charcoal pencils. Well, those are not what's in here. But the box has managed to survive, and I don't know if the company has or not. I didn't look that up. Because there weren't the any American actual Prang in there. the American Crayon Company from Sandusky, Ohio. They also have 
one in New York. There you go. Yeah. But that's an old box. Old box. Who knows? <laughs> oh, and the contents of this box are old, too. Oh, Anne says she would like you to go back to the stable up. I like them, but find them frustrating at times. Yes, I, I, I so totally agree with you. And I don't have a page. Well, be very quick about your charcoal. I mean, it's like it's a pencil, but it's just more messy. Uh, yeah. Uh, it makes some marks. Basically, it is. And we can go and, back to stable up. And you can get, uh, okay, this is a Conte crayon. And this is what a lot of drawings uh, that you will see at the museum you know, beautiful drawings with them, um, faces and 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 whatnot are done with your. Hey, you should show them. You should show them my awesome little doodle. <gasps> I've got it right back over here. I, I can do amazing things with a pink sharpie pen. <laughs> Marker. <laughs> and those were Izzy's. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, markers make marks. <laughs> we, we weren't going to go ahead I'll go post, into that. I'll but, post it. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that face that Mariah. And this is Izzy's. Isn't that adorable? Oh, now, this so is cute. the cat, uh -huh. the dog. No, that's Izzy. That's Izzy with oh, big with, tails. with big tails. Yes, the cat. And then the dog's over in the corner. And this one. And this daddy. is Daddy. <laughs> Watch she it. She had me draw myself. She says, Mommy, you draw you. <laughs> She's really into this. <laughs> oh, did y'all see her, her dress? Oh, yes. That has been quite popular in the, yeah. the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> you will see it, Renaissance, uh, they will say Conte Crayon. Well, that's what this little jobber is. And it's in uh, sepia. It's a sepia drawing pencil made in France, number 617, just in case you wanted to know. Okay, so we will just write that down there. Conte crayon and move on. Aw, oh, Carrie, she likes she such great drawings. <laughs> and then you have just now also and Mariah, do you have that? Can you get that blue box out? Because yeah. there's some there's some stick charcoal. Oh. I noticed the other day that someone had these in their uh, yeah. was oh. this Anne? With the box. Yeah, with the box. This is the one where you pull the little paper, and uh, and I don't need to pull it, so I'm not going to, but charcoal is lovely, and a lot of times oil painters will dis will establish their lines, their, their drawing, their, if they're, you know, their landscape, yeah. whatever, with this. It's really best if you have it on a board and you can do this because this is how you need to hold it. That's how you get those lovely thick, thin. I don't know what you want out of here. Lines. Okay, there should be a box in there that has stick charcoal in it. It's called stick charcoal. I don't know, but I love the smell of this box. I don't know why I like the smell of this box, but I do. <laughs> and and then that's. Oh yes, look. Another old box, but it is labeled. <laughs> Stick charcoal, which is really the vilest stuff on planet Earth. Here, check this out. Because you are going to get this. That's funny. What is it? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, look. Yeah, wet on wet, wet on dry, wet on wet. That's what I recommend that you do there's to get some, the hang on. Here's Look some at that wet charcoal. on wet. Okay, that's a good one too. To, I mean, to talk about. I don't. I really hate this because it crumbles and breaks. Yeah, and, it, it's very Oh, look, light. this is Daler Rowney. Here's another one. See, look, this. She, she's such a little collector of like the same thing. <laughs> and let me tell you, before she moved here, they were probably in twenty different boxes. I was the I, one who put them all into one box. She consolidated for me. Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> More of the same thing. More of the same thing. Look, I even have an eraser there. <laughs> oh, these are really good pencils. The only problem is, is finding a sharpener. Yeah, it's a fatty. Yeah. Well, obviously you found something. It's pressure proofed. <laughs> who knew? Okay, that's not charcoal. <laughs> that's regular pencil. I'm going to keep that out. <laughs> See, this is why it's dangerous to start. Oh, opening some more the of these little jobbers, and then of course you have this little thing, and this little thing is your smoocher. 
If you if you want to blend your charcoal, you need some of those. Those are called I don't know what those things are called. Oh, they're like yeah, they're blender paper. Uh, yeah, I just make I make used to make my own out of. Yeah, the because they're kind of pricey. You do have white charcoal in case you you know want to come back in and change your. While you blend line. that line. Blend that line. Oh, here's another. Yeah. This. Yeah. This is what happens. Isn't when we this clean. fun? I love those fat pencils. I'm going to give that to Izzy. Okay, here's this <laughs> stuff, and I don't even have to take it out of the thing. It's, it, it's, it breaks. She, she stood back when she did that. <laughs> okay, but look, you can get lovely just by the pressure. But you better get something to seal that up because it will get Yeah, I, I used to use... Um, hairspray. Hairspray. Aquanet. Aquanet. What if it's the cheapest at the store? Now, if it will discolor your paper. That's why a lot of times people use. Oh, good tip there, Felicia. She says go to the school supply section. They have fat sharpeners or go to the makeup, like, you know, makeup section, and they'll have them for the big eyeliner things. Yeah. <gasps> Duh. Thank you. I swear, sometimes it's the most obvious things. <laughs> it, it is, but I, no, I, I mean, I, I don't. I used to have a part a sharpener at school that I, I got, especially that had two holes, but I couldn't even find any the last time I yeah, ordered I our sharpener. Yeah, I don't know where they all wandered off to. Um, and then Kylie says tortillion. Who? What? Tortillion. Tortillon. 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 What is that? That's what this thing is called. Oh, see, Kylie knows things. Well, bless her heart. Thank you. I'm so glad we have somebody. I just called it. We just. I was just called it a, you that are, a are stump. Yeah. That's what we always refer to as a stump. <laughs> okay, and your charcoal comes in all different hardnesses, just like pencils. This is an HB. I don't know. HB is like the softest, isn't it? Yeah. The no, higher the higher the number, and this one says coal black. Oh. oh. But you can see it isn't all the same. You get different. This is why you have boxes full of different pencils that sort of look the same, but no, not the same. <laughs> yeah, now that's an HB. Yeah, so it's it's a lighter line. And these these little these little guys, look at my I need to cut my I loved those off. as a kid. Yes, yeah, she und undid a whole bunch of them. I could have choked her. <laughs> Okay, that one is not nearly you as nice as... can't give a kid as... something with a pull string and not expect them to pull it. <laughs> pull the string. <laughs> Boy, uh, here's one that you probably pulled. I never, ever let it get out that far. <laughs> this is a Mariah pulled string. Okay. Is that, is that good? Does anybody have any questions on charcoal? I'll wait. <laughs> I'll just see. If okay, I... let's see here. Uh, Isabel took a real life drawing class back in the day and all we used were those charcoal sticks. I I'm not used to them, but a mess on the head. Yeah, they are just, it's a mess everywhere. And the stuff just like in the box, it's just everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, Uta. It's been a while. Glad you're back. Check this out. China markers. China markers. I don't have any China markers, but I do like them. They're, um... Yeah, they're kind of like this the pull in the string thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Conte crayon, Conte crayon, and charcoal. You can use. Oh my goodness! I forgot to put that yeah, in. Yeah, my... got fifteen minutes basically. Oh. I don't think we're gonna gel print. We'll do. Let's do a whole. Thing next week on mark making on the plate because it's best just to have it out at the beginning because yeah, getting it prepped and, and, and I'm going to have to clear all this away and that will take ten, 10 minutes. So I think let's bring back the <clears> stay <throat> below, play around with it some more. Okay, I've got Anne it right was here. very interested in that. And um, also I could do some um oh yes some, I could do some watercolor leaf designs on on uh, paper. I, I just happen to know where some is here because I was made to clean up the studio. Oh, I know what. I didn't mess around with tissue paper, and I wanted to do that. 
just because I Well, don't. it's a cool thing because you can overlay it on stuff or it's also a great thing to gel print. You know. It is. And if you have your tissue paper is, um, I'll have to find my, I'm going to put those over here. This is going to be my little book. And y'all are going to be so impressed when I finally get around to making that. Now this is kind of irky here with the, I wanted to see if I could do uh, calligraphy on this paper. I don't anticipate that that's going to be a good thing, but I could be wrong. Oh, yes, and to those of you that are new, um, if you want to just uh, give us a like on the video, that helps us a big time. Come back, leave a comment. Oh, we haven't talked about the giveaway in a little bit. So, at 2,000 subscribers, we will pick from all of you that have left comments on any video leading up to well, any video, any live stream, um, comment, letting us know that you want to be entered into the giveaway, and we're going to send a big box, and we don't care necessarily where you're at. I mean, there might be some places that if it's really, really expensive, um, maybe your box is just not a box, it's more of an envelope, <laughs> but um, we will ship it out, and it will be full of all sorts of lovely, lovely things from uh, PM Artist Studio, or things that we think are lovely. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not all. always a shared. Hey, look at this. This is really. I need to get a piece of paper underneath this so I don't have to see this stupid. Yeah. Mat. Yeah, and it leaks through a little bit, so it might be a good idea if you have a surface. But what I love about the tissue paper, you can then take this. I mean, you could even calligraphy. Um, well, it's nice because you can put it over a lined piece of paper and then it helps you keep Absolutely. it online. Or what's nice about the tissue paper is that you don't really necessarily have to stay straight because you could then glue it down. You know, uh, I can remember Lisa, I think it was Lisa and Judy maybe asking on ways to like write out words and ways to utilize words yeah. on things. So this would be a really great way. Yes. Because I yes, love yes, it yes. when words blend in, not necessarily big blocked. And this is just a personal thing. Um, I don't care for a square chunk of text. I think there are ways to go about making it actually blend into whatever it is. Now, every once in a while, there's a call-out box or whatever, and, and and there's you know there's as Pete always has there's a there's a reason to <laughs> deviate from what you normally like, but for the most part, because the tissue paper is awesome, and especially if you're using that noodler ink that. Carrie was talking about. I'm very excited about the idea with that because then you can come back with sprays and things of that nature because if it is, if it dries and then is no longer active, you can spray it and color it and then be able to overlay it. What's great about that is if you have a ton of texture on a page, you can then overlay that and you don't have to worry about, you know, if you're trying to write on something that's all bumpy. And boy, have we ha had that issue before. <laughs> what are you writing out? Oh, you're... Yeah, because I messed it up up there. <laughs> are you going to give us some... Some stable -o? I am. Okay, look at that. Now, I can, this is going to dry. It is waterproof. When it's dry? I, I, when it's dry. Okay. Very dry. And you can then use other, because I did test it out on that piece of paper that I lost. <laughs> it went. It went somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got that. Went beyond. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> quick clean off and uh, I, I promise you I will do a better job of cleaning my tip off later I'm just not yeah yeah okay now we're back to the stable lows okay this is this is cool I'll just take this for a, a way that you can really use this that you you want to decide which direction your son's coming from I used to make my kids draw a little sun up in the corner you don't have to do that. Which is funny because, you know, in, in graphic design software, you, you have ways to change where the drop shadow 
or light. Yeah, this is this, this is kind of the same thing. Yeah. When you use these things, try to vary your pressure so that you do get some, you know, when you're drawing, you don't need to have all the lines the same. It's much more interesting, much more organic if you don't. Well, because otherwise you're basically outlining and then looking very yes. color booky. All right, now we know that what this is because this is, and I'm going to bust out my little oh. squeezy pins. Laura says, um, stay below with a stump, more control. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to bring your little thing in and move it, push it. You, you can. But you can also take your watercolor brush and very carefully add in and oh yes and on the pull. on the giveaway thing it that that works for people actually that's the reason i want it to be in the comments um so in the chat uh, i love that you guys are loving on the giveaway but um you must come back and leave comments on the video the live stream letting me know um because that way i can it's a lot easier to a see it and be that way people that are watching the replay can also participate but can you see how lovely that really is my only problem with the stay below as opposed to the uh, dwent is once you use this and you put water on it it is then it, 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 it's stable. Yeah, it holds. It holds. You don't, you can see, you don't have quite the, the, the darkness Fluff. of it. it. And it, it's going to act slightly different. But once I do this, then this is going to be set up and it's not going anywhere. Once it dries. Once it dries. There you go. There's some leafy mark making. Some leafy mark making. I, I don't know. I, I have a thing about leaves. I love leaves. I just think they come in such a... <laughs> oh, thanks, Carrie. What did she say? She's, she's dropping in the link for the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a team today. <laughs> it is, it, it, we appreciate it, it. It really is. And the thing about <clears throat> that is when you learn how to use your brush to make your brush strokes... You learn how to use your <laughs> oh. your implement, whatever it should be, to make lines. All it is doing is it's just training your brain to see things differently. Look at real leaves. Most real leaves don't aren't, aren't perfect. They have little glitches and imperfections and whatever. And that that is something that that makes your drawing that much more interesting and just practice like as far as like mark making if you start practicing those types of lines then you can make those connections as you feel more confident in your line making i mean lines are tools i think you can pull that's one of the nice things about that you can pull from your puddle <laughs> pull from the puddle. Pull from your puddle and you can shade out. And you get too much on there, you now can come back. Beyond, you're going beyond the mark. <laughs> I'm going beyond the mark, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, at some some point... Wait, one must go beyond the mark. <laughs> you, you transfer the information yep. you learned here to the information that you're learning. That's why here. I was saying, like, you build upon it. Yes. Mark making, we said, it was, this is the fundamentals. You get down your... Your ways of making the marks, start connecting the marks, making patterns, making shapes. Then you can bring Make that into the shading part of things. Compositions. This is where you bring all... Or calligraphy. Or <laughs> calligraphy. Yeah, if you're really hardcore, you're willing to put, put in, in the, the time. <laughs> because it isn't easy, and I wouldn't ever say it was. Yes. Yeah. It's not easy. Or everybody would do yeah, it. I was supposed to say, or everybody would do it. Yeah, but look at that. Isn't that lovely? I mean, I, I think it's quite lovely. And that's done with this. 
this little job are cheap. Well, they're not cheap, but uh, in the price of pencils, they're cheap compared to this. Oh, yes. Hello, Rosie. And as everybody has said there in the chat, um, yeah, we're kind of coming up on the end of things here. But yes, please do come back and watch. Uh, I think we did some really great demonstrations on all types of ways to make marks and, and really start to build out your visual vocabulary. He came up with that. I was like, that's wonderful. I, I love that. And, and this is why I love these little books, because I think a lot of times, I know people have said this, that she said, you know, I just finished a big project and I, my brain is just, I'm dead. I, I have no inspiration. I'm not feeling anything. That's when you go back to your little, your little book with your different marks in it. Test out some new things. Play Test with it a little bit. some things and just play with it. Don't have a project in mind because that's how things happen. Yeah. Absolutely how things happen, I think. Yeah, and so let's kind of recap. You want to come sit over here for a second and we'll talk to everybody <coughs> and just kind of recap I'm things. about to talk down. <laughs> well, you can I, just show your, 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 your awesome jewelry one last mm. time. <laughs> did Lisa ever, did she, we ever get No, her? I know she's oh. skimped been under the weather. I, weather. As we all seem to be this well, week. Well, I want Judy tell her that we missed her. And we'll tell her back. Tell her that I'm wearing the skull. The skull, which I love, <laughs> and I have this spooky um, hand that's just bones somewhere in sterling silver, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Yeah, you were looking for that for something else. It's it's in a it's in somewhere somewhere in a box of boxes in a cluster. And cluster. Because I, I think I put it together with some other things that were spooky. <laughs> Could have been with the Venus of Villendorf, come to think Anyway, of guys, thanks for once again for hanging out with us for two hours. Enjoying all wow. the... Well, yeah. yeah, it went quick today. It was fun. I felt like it was a little bit crazy, but I just don't feel that great. So, who knows? Maybe it's just, just me. Um, the giveaway. Remember. Comment below. Okay. You must Judy come back. Judy says, the one I purchased is no longer available. Looking for an alternative. What does that mean? I think to one of the pins or something. But um, check back. That's also the other thing is, um, if you are not a member of the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group, that's where we hang out during the week. A lot of the people that you see here in the chat are all over there. They are. We post we things. Um, those of us that have channels, um, you'll see a lot of the links there. And also just everybody that wants to, you know, participate. Anne's awesome. She makes awesome things. Leslie and um, a lot of you guys that, that post regularly in there, um, you'll see that, that don't necessarily have um, channels, which is really great. It gives you an opportunity to post your work and play along with us. And we definitely love that. And thank you, Carrie. And oh, and Anne. Sandy. Sandy posts awesome. Her her scroll was on point. Yes. Yeah. I mean, just really well done. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, oh, thank giveaway, you so much, Facebook Felicia. group. Hi, lady. Uh, what else? Uh, next week, we will do the marks on the gel printing end and of things. Jenny June yeah, Jenny June. Yeah, we have some new people today. You are new. Oh, thank you. Thank it's, you. It's, oh, it is. Oh, the pull that is always tricky. A lot. Uh, what else? What's I'm really on? not saying. Oh, it's the just, stuffed stuff. Uh, yes. That will be next month. And I, ha I, I started making a mind map with creative alternatives and whatnot. I might share stuff, that with stuff. the group. Yeah. Because I think that, that's one of the things that I really, I really liked about the scrolls was every single one of them was different. Yeah. And they use different things. Your whole thought process came from a different place. And that's what she gets I so applaud. Yes. I, I was so excited yesterday. I would run to the over to the landing and I would yell down at Mariah and I would say, Did you see that? Oh my gosh. She was did. that not wonderful? And I mean every single one and, and then she went away and I didn't have her I, I kinda missed that. Yeah, you were like I think the last two or three I, we had left. Yeah. And, and then I, I, I butt dialed the, the, the group of collabers. <laughs> so I there was that, that. That's great. Yeah. That's that's the kind of thing that I do is, is, is and then I'm going, What are these people talking to me? <laughs> what happened? Is this just occurred? Oh jeez. Goats on YouTube. Okay. All right. Hey, Thank appreciate you guys. it so we'll, much. Uh we'll see you during the week in the Facebook group. If not, then we'll see you next week yes. here in the chat. Bye. Bye.